So before we get into this, I did want to say that there is some news. Now we're off a little bit, but Paramount got caught with their hand in the proverbial Kirky jar, so to speak. <laughs> Somebody leaked a picture of an actor and lady playing um, Leanne Nooney and Singh. And all this speculation was happening on YouTube about who that character could have been. So Paramount just said, oh, yeah, that's Captain Kirk. Yeah, actually, I I didn't even know you were going to want to talk about this, but uh, I was going to bring it up anyway. You know, right now we're not able to do a super lot of speculation because we both have seen all the stuff that we're watching right now. But uh, I did want to talk about that for a minute, so I'm glad you brought it up. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's. I don't think there's any way to not bring this up, you know? Yeah. I assume you've seen the pictures. Yep, I did. Now I don't know. I don't know anything about the actor really. I guess he was on Vampire Diaries. Yeah, I think so. I didn't never watch that show. <laughs> yeah, me either. He's Wesley somebody. So, but he's good enough to hold down a show for a while. So you know, I guess he's an okay actor. We can make that assumption. Did you notice anything about the pictures worth uh, bringing up first? I do like the uniform that he's wearing. <laughs> that's the one from Strange New World. So we have to assume that that's the the current. Starfleet uniform, I did notice that he has a different pin than the Enterprise crew does. So, like, his ship assignment. Remember on, on Star Trek, uh, the original show, different ships had different patch assignments, even though they weren't supposed to. Yeah. So a different ship would show up, and instead of the, the arrowhead, it would be something else. So if you look at uh, Captain Kirk, I'm assuming he's a captain, because it looked like he had three braids on his sleeve. And if you look at Captain Kirk there, he's got a different patch on his shirt. So I'm wondering if he's going to show up as captain of the, I, at this time, I guess it'd be the Farragut. Yeah, but depending on where they're putting the timeline at, he shouldn't be a captain yet, right? Uh, he's the youngest captain in Starfleet history was always the thing, if I remember right. That's true, but Pike doesn't meet Kirk until Pike is a fleet admiral, I think. That is the thing, though, isn't it? So that is what they say in Menagerie. So I'm looking at this article on Trek Movie, and it looks like him and Kirk are wearing the same patch. Oh, you know, this big picture, he is wearing the Enterprise patch. If you look down here, scroll down that page a little bit, and it looks like he's wearing a slightly different patch, a bulkier one down there. But, yeah, I see what you mean. I, I had gotten so focused on that, seeing a different button on there, that I forgot that there are the ones of him full-on Enterprise gear. So he, here's what I'm going to do for this the same thing I have to do for Marvel movies. Whenever I see a preview or a out of context picture that may make me aggravated about what they're about to do, I just got to remember Marvel Studios has a nice, long, good track record of putting out mostly good stuff. And well, from what I've seen from Paramount, at least through Discovery, because I haven't watched Picard yet. <laughs> they also have that same track record. So I'm going to hold back the any of the negative things I might have to say about this and just see what, what happens. Because this is season two stuff, so we have a long way to wait. I know. They got caught. They're up to something because they had to like come out immediately and go like, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's Captain Kirk. Uh, you know, it's, And everybody's over there like saying, oh, yeah, we think that's Matt Decker's father, Commodore Decker. Oh, we think that could be, you know, they're going down the list. And Paramount didn't even wait a full day and released. Nope, that's uh, that's Captain Kirk. We have Captain Kirk on the show. <laughs> yeah, there was some speculation I was reading on Twitter that uh, there might be some time travel shenanigans involved, which given some of the things that happened in future seasons of Discovery, I kind of hope that's not it. But I guess we'll see. Yeah, Discovery's done a lot with time travel and... Right now, Picard, season two, is in 2024, so they're doing time travel. Well, and uh, they seem to have a track record for time travel, so maybe that'll be the case. And, you know, if I had to put my two cents in, I hate time travel. Only do it when you have a really, really, really strong story. That's my feelings on the matter. Yeah, I actually kind of like the way Discovery did it, because um, they time traveled out of that era so that you know, they would could make room for Pike leading up to the original series stuff. So I didn't mind it when Discovery did it. Yeah, and they didn't they didn't go back in the past and change things. They went a thousand years in the future and hung out. Yeah, I still have to watch the rest of what they have on 
Paramount for Discovery. I haven't, I haven't, I think the finale's up now for season four. Yeah, I think it just ended. I'm watching Picard right now, the season two of Picard. And so far, I'm with them. That definitely uh, makes me want to watch it more that you have positive things to say about it. Season one left me kind of unsure. But the way they're the way they're headed now, I'm I'm liking it. So as long as they keep doing things about like they are, I'm cool. And I'm not such a slave to continuity that I can't accept like little changes because look, original Star Trek and Star Trek the next generation. Continuity really didn't mean that much if they had a better story to tell. I don't want them to ignore it, but you know, you can change things if it makes things better. Yeah. I feel like you could more easily get away with it back in the day because you didn't have internet i mean obviously there were a bunch of rabid fans that cared about that sort of thing but the the public at large the casual viewer you know they weren't caring about that but now that um every time any little bit of stuff comes out i can go on the internet and read it about it immediately so i'm gonna know whether i noticed it or not i'm gonna know if they mess with something like that <laughs> yeah well, it's just like when gary gary mitchell in the the first kirk episode brings up Kirk's grave and it says James R. Kirk on it. Yeah, how did they miss that, man? Well, because he didn't have a middle name yet. He didn't really get his middle name. He got a middle initial in the show and then he got a middle name on the animated series. Well, there's lots of weird little things like that. You know, the the shooting outfit for Kirk in the command division or tactical division, whatever that is, that thing was avocado green. It was due to the lighting and the cameras that it looked gold on color TV sets. They would have still gone green with it, except when they got ready to make the animated series, they decided, well, it looked gold, so let's just go with gold. Yeah, I'm going to throw a, a link to this article in the show notes for this episode. If you scroll down to the picture of Kirk, you can kind of see that it's not exactly yellow. It does kind of look like that. Not quite avocado green, but it's definitely not gold. <laughs> yeah. It's a little different. All right, but... Maybe we've gotten away from the point. Did you have anything else to say about the Kirk reveal? No, I mean, there's not a lot to say about it right now. Um, my only thing was, um, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I think maybe once we get in the season one of Pike or of Strange New Worlds, there might be some better opportunities for speculation on what this means. But without having seen any of it, I couldn't even begin to speculate on what this means for the, you know, for the story. Yeah, I'm going to speculate on it right now. Check this out, okay? Kirk will not meet Pike in that episode or in that series of episodes, however that's going to work. Pike will be on vacation or something. They won't meet, and that way they can hold that line from the menagerie is true. And the real big problem will be the fact that Kirk and Spock are going to meet a descendant of Khan Noonien Singh. <laughs> yeah, I guess that doesn't hurt much. Because even in the TOS, like they knew who Khan was once... Um they knew the ship name once they had a little time to do some digging around. All right. Okay. Well, that's enough speculation for now. I imagine 